Instead of making a guide where I sit down and talk in front of a, a microphone, I'm going to go over all of the stuff that I know that gives me an edge on Missile Silo and ups my chances of survival. I'm gonna give you all that information while we're in raid so I can actually show you instead of just telling you. And we go through it as we explain it. We're gonna go over all the player spawns so you know what to look out for and how to play against them. Uh, we're gonna go over high-end loot spawns. We'll go over where the bosses are located. Uh, we're gonna talk about VoIP's power because it's such close quarters in Missile Silo. We'll go over some rat spots that you should be checking or using depending on what kind of player you are. Uh, and then a few pathing tricks. You guys see me do it all the time, but I'll explain it in detail how to do it because I notice a lot of people struggle with it. All right, chat, let's go over everything you need to know. One of the first and most important things to learn on any map, especially Silo, is all of the player spawns. If you can learn and memorize where all the player spawns are, it gives you a massive edge on where to expect people and have your guard up and you'll know when you can just full sprint through things and not have to check corners. You'll see me do this a lot uh, in my missile silo raids. One of the easiest ways to succeed is to wipe the lobby and then loot the whole thing by yourself because uh, you're safe at that point. So if I spawn here, that's one of the spawns, I'll usually run right through here and push the people who spawn at office. Okay, I guess we're dealing with squeaky boys. Okay. Uh, aggression serves you well. You can usually catch enemies off guard by pushing them, especially when you hear them in dialogue or digging through their bag. Use that time. Everything's so close quarters combat here. So back to the actual plan. We're gonna clear spawns. That guy came up from tunnels. And one of my favorite spots to crawl through is here. You just have to crouch down super low and you can make it through. All right, so there's almost always a spot here. There's one. Might be two of them. Okay, that should be all of them uh, in here. So that's two down. And we're gonna keep counting our bodies so we know when we can relax. So this is another spawn. You've seen it many times. And basically, whatever spawn you're close to, you're gonna rush to those ones first. Now, the other spawn that we didn't check on this floor, we're on the top floor here, uh, is the spawn back here. And we're just gonna look for evidence of players to see if someone was here at some point. So we see the Fenix there, we see the Med there, untouched. So we can safely kind of say, uh, nobody spawned there. It's possible they ran out into garage which we can go check in a little bit. Ooh, someone killed Fenix up there. There's evidence of players. There might be someone in there right now. I'm gonna push him. I think he's down there. Why do they act like impact grenades? I think he's hiding back here. Clear. Hmm. Maybe he died. Someone was definitely here, though. Maybe he backed out and came this way. Let's look for evidence of people back here. Uh, there is a spawn right here as well. Just right in the back of uh, 
The train? How's this mag doing? It's doing good, but I'm gonna swap it. I'll run through here and see if there's any evidence of players looting. Doesn't look like it. Crypto wallet's here. Uh, and nothing's open. So, second floor should be cleared. Someone could have went up to top floor where garage is while we've been looking for other people. There's a spawn at the very top of these stairs uh, in the bathroom's dorm section. Ooh, there is someone here still. There's a spawn over that way. That's all the players. Uh, so there's a spawn back here to the left and a little nook. Boop. And then there's an also a spawn, the other spawn on this bottom floor. Uh, <clears throat> is back in this corner past the open missile silo section. Right in that back room. So, quick recap. We have two spawns on this bottom tunnels floor, back there, and in that back left corner. Uh, on the next floor up, we have a single spawn, if I'm remembering correctly, and that's gonna be on train tracks. Uh, up on our, I call it third floor, if we're calling tunnels first, this second. Uh, on this floor, which is where garage is, and squeaky, and school room, and office. There is one, two, three spawns. You have your office, you've got that back corner, and then you have the spawning garage that we spawned at now. And then the last and final spawn is up at the top of the stairs and dorms. So go clear whatever spawns are closest to you. I say you just rush them, uh, because you can usually get the jump on them if you move very quickly as soon as you spawn in. Because what most players are gonna be doing is they're just gonna be rummaging around for loot right at the beginning, wherever they spawned, and they usually will sit still for some time. So that gives you ample time to get over there quickly, set up for them, whether you wanna rat them out and kill them, or just rush them like a Chad, like I did in this case. Uh, and you'll usually get some really nice easy kills, especially if they're naked and they haven't picked a gun up yet. So take advantage of that. That's one of the best things you can do. And then once you wipe a lobby, uh, you get to loot the whole place. So let's talk about some of the high-end loot spots, chat. All right? Uh, high-end loot spots, everybody knows Skull, but just in case someone doesn't, there's a Skull that spawns here. It's a pretty low chance. Maybe it's around 15, 20%. If it's there, it'll give you about 20 grand if you sell it and bring it out. So very nice to have. Um... I'm not going to go over all the boxes, I'm just going to go over the high-end stuff. So definitely check Skull Room every time you're here. We'll start with this floor. Office is packed full of loot. And those desks in particular have decent chances, even though it's very low, but in comparison to other boxes, they have decent chances to spawn key cards. Alright? So it's definitely worth digging through all of these drawers and cabinets in office. Look at all this loose loot. If I added all the money up in this room right now, uh, it'd probably be at least 30,000 just in this room. So pick everything up, tuck it away. The filing cabinets are good. I always check those. Uh, there is a purple key card spawn or orange back here on these uh, open cabinets. Uh, so check that for sure. What else we got? Moving along. So definitely loot uh, office. Definitely check skull room. Hi, <laughs> Chet. How's it going? Uh, there can be a decent gun spawn here. We got a looty this time. It's not always guaranteed, uh, but I always look on top of there. If you come back into this room. There is no key card spawn in that back room. Are you sure? Do they lie to me all this time? I've never found it myself, but I just know people spam me with the info. As soon as I see it, I'll believe it for sure, but... 
regardless, you should check it. Because it doesn't take much of your time. You're already back there looting office. And if it is true, uh, bonus. You get a key card. This room can spawn the boss, so definitely check this. Uh, killing a boss is going to get you crazy gear, and he's not as difficult as you may think. Uh, there's an armor box here, so if you're doing naked runs, I like to rush in here and check it. But nowadays, silo armor boxes are very, very, very low chances to spawn anything useful. Most of the time, you're going to find an em empty box or a bra that offers no armor. So, take that with what you will. There's some decent metal boxes in here, though. I would check them upstairs and uh, down here. You can get lucky with some decent loot there. Now, what else we have? There's a pistol box back here that gets missed a lot. Any metal boxes have a higher chance of spawning better gear in comparison to their wooden box counterparts. So take a look at them for sure. I like to check that one back in the cage. Uh, obviously, we have Squeaky. Squeaky is going to have, even though it got nerfed, it's going to have the higher end spawns here. Okay, so come in here, dig through the filing cabinet, check the cases, grab your extra med, uh, and don't spend too much time in here if players are still alive, because you will have people camping you outside, so be prepared for that. But definitely check Squeaky. Uh, moving on, we're skipping straight to Tunnel. These guys had a few things. You know what, we shouldn't. Let's do it from top down. If you're ever in need of guns, there's if you go all the way up these stairs into the uh, bedrooms and shower rooms, there's a lot of gun spawns there on the beds, and there's uh, a few lockers in there too. So if you're dying for a gun, check it. Also, damn, 30 round G G3 mag, that's massive for me. Uh, another metal box, definitely check it. Higher end loot table. And then back here, we're on the second floor. Very, very often, close to guaranteed chance, a crypto wallet will spawn here on this barrel. Make sure you check and grab it. You could get upwards of 200-ish thousand on a crypto wallet if you're really lucky. Um, maybe even more. So definitely grab that. Uh, it's a little gamble, a little lottery ticket, and maybe you win big. While you're back here, you might as well check this big box. A little gunpowder, that doesn't work. And, uh... You can go check Joker Room. Uh, if you have the place to yourself and you want to fill your bags you up, you might as well. effectively use the rat spots on the map to get kills? Not on this map yet, but we will go over it. There's some decent rat spots you should use, uh, if you are a rat. And if you're not a rat, then you look out for rats at those spots, so you know what to check for. Uh, if you come out to second uh, floor here, there's some boxes in this missile silo area, just outside of Joker. Uh, another metal one worth checking, and any big large ones are worth checking too. I've watched Timeless pull AK Alphas out of wooden boxes before just like that one. Uh, back in here, we got another med. There's meds everywhere on Silo. Definitely pick them up, they're worth good money, and they're very useful as well. There's two big boxes in here, a wooden one that we just opened, and uh, this metal one that's very hard to see in. What is that? That train yard has a good one. Behind the trains, in between the two cars, you can shoot a player crossing from Crypto to Joker. That's nice. And back here. Crypto to Joker? I actually don't know what you're talking about specifically. Crypto to Joker is here, but uh, anyways, move down to tunnels, but that's all the loot you should be checking there. There is more boxes scatter about, but like I said, these are kind of the must check spots, especially if you clear lobby. You've got the whole place to yourself, so you might as well. All right, so down in tunnels, uh, we have the other potential boss spawn back here. 
you should always check this uh, because there might be a chance that you can down a boss and get a ton of good gear. There's a, another metal box here, worth checking, large one, and a wooden counterpart. Uh, definitely check those. You might get very lucky. And that's all the loot spots. Now you want to talk about rat spots? So lots of people use this extract in particular, okay? Uh, to get out of missile silo. It's a very, very common extract especially people who are barreling down the elevator shaft to get out as quick as they can. You can come over here and get on this box. Uh, it offers good protection. The box is about yay high. You can crouch a little bit to cover even more of your body. So basically just your head's gonna be peeking out and a little bit of your upper shoulders, depending on how low you get. And you're in darkness too. This is a very dark, dark spot of the tunnel. Um, if you sit very still, it's very unlikely that people will notice you right away, uh, giving you ample time to just shoot them. If you're not a rat, make sure you look, uh, cause that box is scary. Definitely there. Next. Oh boy. So next we have some camping spots here, I don't want to really call this a rat spot, but it's a spot where I've killed people who are sitting in uh, elevator a lot of times. This works really well if you have a squad too. Um, but get out on this outer ledge, okay? Uh, most people, when they have this door open, their eyes are locked there. And if they're just around that corner, they can't see you here and they think they're safe. So sometimes they'll peek across to switch sides and they won't be expecting you here, right? Because they have their eyes locked over there. You can get a nice easy kill. If you have a teammate, you send them on over to stand against the wall and pull the door open while you hold this angle. And it's a very easy way to clear uh, squeaky if you've got campers. Of course, throw grenades in there if you have them. Another rat spot that I'm terrible at, I'm really bad at. I wonder if you could sit in that corner. You probably could. There's some spots you can fall down to here. Ooh, maybe they changed it. They might have changed this one. No, you can still fall here. You can fall on the edge here. And if you're good enough, it's very difficult. You can make the jump over here. And you can either just sit right up here and watch Squeaky, or if you're feeling even more risky, you can try and make this jump. I did not make it. But you land up on that girder, and you have really good sight of anybody who pushes in there, and you can cover anybody inside there and wait for them to come out. So all you non-rats, make sure you look up and check that spot. Um, it's a lot rare that you'll see people there, but they're pretty good spots for hanging out and waiting for uh, waiting for people to come out and come through. Cause Squeaky is very, very high traffic. Uh, you're gonna see a lot of players come here and check it. And if you're a little rat, you wanna sit in high traffic areas. Another good spot that, I mean, I see people use sometimes. It's not crazy, crazy rat spot, but if you just sit back here crouched, um, a lot of people just skip this box and run straight into Squeaky and you can just hear them run past. And once you hear them run past, you can peek out slowly uh, and usually get an easy kill because they're not expecting someone there. I'm wound up in my cord, so I'm gonna spin this around. How much time do we have left in raid? We have 12 minutes. Let me, let me sip some water, chat. Okay, so we went over everything. The last thing I want to show you guys, I did it very quickly, but let's actually show you how to do it. Because I see a lot of people struggling with it, and I think it's very useful as a tactic. Uh, there's this, this little barricade here, chat. You see me use this all the time to quickly get into um, office and push the spawns. But the trick is, is you, you have to physically crouch, okay? So I play standing. <coughs> You can't use the crouch button for this, it doesn't work. You have to physically crouch and jump on this lower 
a uh, little beam here on the low end. Stay really low. I'm talking crouch super low. Look at how low I am. And then you just walk through, jump over that little last box, and you're through. Same thing on the way back, except we use this barrel. We crouch, IRL. We jump on this barrel. We jump again over. Easy as pie, okay? Just make sure you crouch really low. A lot of people make the mistake of not getting low enough. I'm not crouching, you can't make it through. I'm crouching barely, I'm not I've making it through. You gotta get really low. How sound is carried through the game. Like how far away can you hear a player moving at running and walking speed? So I'd need to get a partner to show you that very clearly, but um, <laughs> if you're moving at this pace and crouched, I'm gonna show you the pace. You see here how I'm not making any footstep noises? So you can go completely silent if you go a little faster this speed, they're not going to be able to hear you unless they're like, <laughs> like from here to like five feet out in front of me. It's all dependent on how quick you move. The, the faster you move, the farther out the range of your sound carries. So being slow uh, is really nice for being sneaky. So definitely do that. Uh, I think that's everything, chat. I think that's all I wanted to go over. Uh, do you guys have any anything that you think is like a must-know tip? Uh, let me know. What do you think, chat? I think we need to extract and go drink some water. My character's dying. Let's go hop out of raid. We can fill these drum mags. And that's it. <laughs> You'll get used to the map over time. It's actually very simple. Uh, if you're new to Silo, it might seem very complicated and maze-like, but just spend a little time in it and it's it's really simple. There's only a few ways up and down floors and, eleva and elevations. Uh, and once you learn those spots, you're good. All right. Oatchib said, uh, trust nobody as a pro tip. But I beg to differ. I mean, yes, you can use it nefariously, VoIP, and, you know, get somebody to trust you and then kill them. That's a way to secure a kill, for sure. Uh, but, you know, if you give somebody else your trust as well, if they're giving it to you, you know, roll the dice. You might die, and they might kill you, uh, but you might make a cool new friend that you do raids with from then on. So, I say putting trust in people every so often is actually kind of thrilling, chat. You should do it every so often. Give it a chance. Because if you play solo all the time, and you've always wanted to play a squ in, in squads, but you just kind of don't know where to look for teammates, just look for them live in Missile Silo, and get each other's names and squad up if you had fun. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? All right, chat, so we went over everything on Missile Silo that I think is important. Now I'm just gonna show you it in action. Okay, we're basically gonna just apply everything I talked about. I didn't get water. I didn't drink water. <laughs> All right, I guess we're gonna be coughing this whole raid. We'll find water. It's just gonna be annoying. <laughs> wow, how lucky am I? <laughs> I should, this, this should not happen. This should not be that lucky. Okay, so we spawned an office. Uh, I'm finding the closest spawn to me, which is kind of equal to this one and that one down to the left. And I'm rushing. I'm not spending time looting in there. We can loot if we survive. Perfect. Catch him off guard. Find him quickly. Uh, and kill him. So he came out of this spawn here. There's a spawn right back there. Now we're going to find the other guy right there. So we got that spawn dealt with. And that guy spawned back to the right. So we've cleared all of this floor spawns. Now we go down to second floor and start dealing with that. I think I'm gonna go to tunnels first and work my way up. So people like to rush up ladder sometimes. Okay, I hear gunshots on second floor. These spawns look clear so far, but people move quickly. A lot of time has passed. Box is open, so we know he spawned here and walked through here. 
and probably one upstairs. Let's find him. Okay, so he didn't go that way. And that door's not open, the squeaky door. So, where's my backpack? Why don't I have it? He might be at Joker then. Who the fuck is shooting me? Let's pop this heel. Alright, I'm hurt a little bit. We'll be okay. The fact that there's a Fenix here, I doubt someone was out here, but there's a spawn here. Let's see if he's digging through any of this. Box is shut there. Is that box open? He might be back here. I hear gunshots again. Clear. Take the med. Maybe they're down in tunnels, near boss spawn. aren't open here. So that's all the spawns checked. Uh, and the spawns you get to the latest, you know, those guys could be anywhere. They could have extracted. Uh, they could have made their way up a stairwell or a ladder and are on a floor that you already checked. So now we get to the backtracking section where we count how many kills we got. We figure out how many's left and we see if we can find them anywhere. So we know he didn't come through here. Uh, crypto wallet's gone. But none of these boxes are open, so it must not have spawned. We didn't come through here. Uh, there's a lot of loot and things to look through on third floor for the garages and squeaky and skull room. So most people will make their way up there. And, uh and spend a lot of time up here looting. So if you don't find them, they're probably up here somewhere. Look, someone's been in Skull Room. Someone killed these. That was not me. So someone's been back here. It's one of our missing guys, for sure. He could have extracted back there. Hopefully he's around looting somewhere and we can find him. I need to find food. He could be an office loot. Oh. He's in Squeaky. We found him. Let's go. That should be our last guy. So he's going to hear my footsteps. But I'm just going to rush him. He might have dropped down already and is running to extract. I don't see him on extract. He's probably up there still. Let me make sure he's not down here though. Looks clear. He's gotta be in squeaky still. Uh, if I can find some nades, I can kill him. Pushing him will be risky. dead. He got curious. He got too curious and he died for it. I think there's one more up there. I don't know why, but I once thought there was a spawn across from the skull room extract in that yellow hallway. Yeah, I don't think so. I'm near positive now. I've spawned way too many times on this map. If you don't ever recall yourself spawning there, then it's not a spawn. You would have rolled it at some point. I think there's one more person up there.
I think it was a duo. I could be wrong. I'm gonna get back up on his level. And see if I can... Maybe we can talk to him, chat. Maybe we can talk to him. Let him know we're hungry. We just want some food. Hey, man. I know uh, that it isn't. Sorry about I killing your friend. Like I once did spawn there during my first few raids. But, but uh, I'm simply insane. Thank you, Bard. I appreciate the two hundo. Uh, look. Either we talk this out, or I'm coming in there and killing you. You got about ten seconds while I make my way over there to decide. Uh, open your mic up, all right? I might go find some nades and throw them in there. All right, buddy. What's your decision? Are you playing the hiding game? You're just gonna stay silent and think I don't know that you're in there? All right. Well, as soon as you peek out and run out of time, you're dead. All right, I'm just using some intimidation tactics uh, to scare him and keep him in that room while we go look for grenades. So hopefully he doesn't peek and he takes that seriously. And let's see if we can find a nade. And then I'll chuck it in there, we'll clear it, and then we'll know we're safe. I find nades in office a lot. Also out here. Ah, someone's picked through this. Is it me? Fishing rod. Guns. Come on, give me a nade. No nades. Usually people are pretty scared when they get found, so... Unless he's paying close attention to what I'm doing here and listening, and I have... Okay, my mic's not open. Uh, he's, he's just gonna hide in there. More than likely. Grenade? I find grenades often in this office, so let me check. And all the death drawers. I'll bet you 100 fake dollars that I find a nade here. <laughs> GG. I told you! If you ever want a nade, just go dig through the desk drawers. It's for whatever reason, the people working there, uh... I guess they don't feel very safe at work. To bring that many nades in. Alright, man. It's time to die. There might not be anyone in there, but, you know, playing it safe is important. Because risky moves can get us killed. Okay, it's clear. Uh, no one was in here probably, or he snuck out, but mo more than likely there was just no one in here. I don't have a backpack. Wait, this guy does. What you got? Ooh, quad nods. Yes, please. We'll take the extra backpack as well. Um, we are hungry. Let's eat. Take the extra med out too. Give me this. Oh boy. Uh, I want to take that extra ammo module out. I can't buy things on the hardcore account, so... You never realize how precious ammo modules are until you can't buy them. So, give me this. Just slap it on this chest rig. And let's get out of here. I could check all the loot spots, but I'm just here to show you how to survive and kill. You know where the loot spots are now. Okay. Bouncing gun? Where's that thing going? Where's it going, chat? Oh. Uh, so this is what's known as a Ghost of Tabor. 
sometimes you find them if you're really lucky. They're not very good shots. They usually don't shoot at all. They just kind of bounce around the walls. No boss? Let's get out of here. Buy trash can. All right, chat, so that's two lobbies wiped back to back. I guess three technically if you count the naked run. Shall we do some more? Or do you guys want an island guide? Ooh, a naked island guide that I can go over with you guys right now. That might be kind of fun. Good. I've been running around with the golden TT the whole time. Whoops. Put that away. And where can I put another golden SKS? Got three of them now. Thank you all for watching. If you feel the video deserves it, give it a like, consider subscribing. It means a lot for my small channel. Also, I do a lot of live streaming on twitch.tv. The link will be in the description below. That's all for today. Expect more Ghost of Tabor content. And until then, I'll see you in the field.